Hi, we're the History Hikers. I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. And we are in front of the Chateau de Bove. Boves? Bove. 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 Uh, it's behind us in the trees, through the trees. You might be able to see it. Uh, yeah, not much is left standing, I think. Do uh, you have any information? Well, what is actually standing are two walls of the 15th century donjon or keep. Uh, it was built on a mot which has been here since the 10th century. Yeah. So a human-made mound. Yes. Let's go and check it out. The medieval fortress of Bove is located near the town of Bove, southeast of Amiens, in the Somme department in France. The ruins overlook the Noir Valley, at the top of a limestone escarpment from which you can see Amiens and its cathedral. Built around the beginning of the 10th century, the Castrol Mount is anthropic, meaning man-made. According to the results of current research, it would seem that the first occupation of the site took place just after its construction. In the 11th century, the lands belonged to Thomas de Marle, also known as Thomas de Cousy. Infamous for his aggressive and brutal tactics in war and his continued rebellion against the authority of King Louis VI. One of his descendants, Robert, sided with the Count of Flanders in the conflict with Philippe Auguste over Vermandois. In July 1185, King Philippe Auguste of France and Philippe of Alsace, Count of Flanders, signed the Treaty of Bove. The treaty put an end to the conflict between the King and the Count over the inheritance of Elisabeth de Vermandois, wife of Count Philippe. In the 13th century, the lordship passed by marriage to the Rumigny family, then quickly, in 1265, to the Lorraine family, which kept it for three centuries. The motte was enlarged and redesigned several times. In the 14th century, Ferry I of Vaudemont had the castle rebuilt. The two sections of walls still visible today remain from this new construction. The castle is said to have been partly ruined by the Duke of Bedford in 1443, in the 16th century, it was one of the most important places held by the Ligueur Picard, a Catholic party during the Wars of Religion. The castle was dismantled in 1595. Afterwards, it was used as a stone quarry, a sad end to once glorious castle. Between 1996 and 2013, Philippe Racinet, professor at the University of Picardy, led a multidisciplinary archaeological program on the castle of Bove. This program enabled the excavation of the platform and illustrated the complexity of developments carried out between the end of the 9th century and the end of the 16th century. All that remains of the once impressive castle of Bove is the Castrol Mount, surmounted by the two sections of wall of some 10 meters high. These are the remains of the southeast tower of the last aristocratic residence, built at the end of the 14th century on this entirely man-made mound. The archaeological research has led to the profound renewal of our knowledge of this site. Be sure to follow the links in the description if you want more information about the archaeological discoveries. Another short one. Some castles just haven't got a lot of them standing. Yeah, I don't know what to add. <laughs> on Wikipedia, if you check the photos, there's supposed to be something on the floor. Some in front of us, so that's why stones. he's making these weird gestures in front of the camera. Yeah, well, there's just vegetation right now. So we can't see it. Uh, check with Wikipedia if you're interested. Um, anything to add right now? We just have to do the arbitrary castle score. I guess so. Um, uh, how much did I give the last one? I think that was a three because you couldn't touch it. Oh, I'm gonna touch this one and then I'll give you a three and a half. Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll stick with a four because it's more than one wall left. Literally, there are two. More than one wall equals four. Yes. So. One wall is two? Yeah, one wall was three. Oh, yeah. it's difficult. The math is difficult over here. Um, yeah, we're the History Hikers. Uh, if you like the video, it's not a lot, but 
We like to document every castle we see, so that's why we make a video. If you liked it, please leave a like, a comment, and, or subscribe if you can. It helps us out doing these things, visiting the smallest of smallest castles, even when there's only one stone or wall left standing. Until next time, thank you. Bye. Bye.